Good evening. You're watching ABC News for Australia Network. I'm Della Rani. Welcome to our first edition of Talk About It. It's about autism. It's also about racial profiling. What was it like for you to work on a film like that? And if you want to be on the program, just use your phone like this to record a video, then upload it to YouTube, send us the link, and you can join me on the program. Where they get all those brilliant ideas from? Well, we think we might have found one of those places. This is going to be quite a big international media event because all the eyes of the world are on South Africa at the moment. Can you give us a sense of the type of preparations that have gone into this particular day? Who is the biggest Bollywood superstar you know? Shah Rukh Khan? Obviously Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan, welcome to Australia. Thank you, Dale. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I understand that you climbed Mount Everest with two Indian girls and when you got to the top, you perched the Pakistani and Indian flag side by side. What was the message behind that statement? The youths want peace in both the countries. You know, we want friendship in both the countries. I wanted to also talk to you about one of your colleagues, a human rights lawyer, Rashid Rehman Khan. He was allegedly gunned down because he was defending a man um, who was facing blasphemy charges. Obviously, uh, Rashid was a very close friend. The Pakistani authorities and the state of Pakistan does not respect human rights. I did manage to get my hands on uh, one of the few newspapers that is available today. I'm just going to hold it up. This is the Bangkok Post from today. So let's talk about the Nippon and Sumitomo merger. Last week, it became the world's second biggest steelmaker. What does Nippon get out of this merger? Do you think that here in Australia, we're more open to talking about mental illness? I mean. Look, all three of you guys have decided to come on this show today to talk about it, which yeah. is fantastic. But do you think as a society that, you know, we're open to discussing this? In 2006, Ray and Damien Panlock's daughter, Brody, committed suicide at just 19 years old after being bullied at the cafe where she worked. Were you guys aware about any of this bullying while it was happening? No. That is my background, doing a lot of hard news, business reporting and, and breaking news. But this, what I, what I love about this is I think it, it allows my personality to come out, you know. I've got Shah Rukh Khan in the room. Your dance routines are just well thanks. Can you show us? Lungi dance, lungi dance, lungi dance. <laughs> it's fun and it's, it's different, but uh, yeah, definitely very unconventional. There are two superstars, one is Shah Rukh Khan and one is Amitabh Bachchan. Well, Mr. Bachchan, you waited a long time to make your Hollywood debut and it was only in 2013 with, with the great Well, guests. you know, beggars are no choosers, so... Uh... Our films are doing much better business back home than they, they ever did. People are back in the theatres and how? The last time I interviewed Shah Rukh Khan, he showed me the lungi dance. I have with your Balan with me. <laughs> Can you show me your signature dance move? You did win by one of the biggest margins in general election history in India. What made you decide to leave politics? I just did it for the emotion. Soon realized that you know emotion doesn't have any space in politics. So, uh, I was not qualified for the job. It's such a fun song. Well, that was more. another Australian first right there from Sesame Street to Eurovision. Very first. Very first. <laughs> but it's politics in the spotlight in 2014. And as you can see around me, campaigning is well and truly underway. How have the both of you used social media in your campaign? Well, I'm going to use this opportunity to thank Mr. Zuckerberg for providing us with Facebook. <laughs> Whereas you don't think a single guy does? Guy, no. I, does I a do. single guy I, have to prove yeah, himself? Yes, he does. But still, I mean, you're a single guy. You would go out on a couple of dates. People would still say, oh, he's a stud. Yeah, right? but a single woman, it's not, it's not, it's, the same it's thing. not about, no, I'm sorry. How excited are you right now? Super excited. Yeah. After 11 years, finally, I mean, uh, it's just perfect right now. When I saw her for the first time, I'm like, wow, what a beautiful girl. <laughs> what a beautiful smile. So it was love at first sight. Was it the same for you, Nikita? No. <laughs> I used to work for BBC World News. I was the correspondent presenter in India. And I used to present a show called India Business Report. Now, the advantage of that is I'm used to presenting from outside. And I love it. I love the energy and enthusiasm of it. Miss Wadina Safio is also one of the best known and most talked about people in Malaysia. And she's taking time out of her busy schedule to talk to us today. Assalamu alaikum, Miss Wadina Safia. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Delphi. Thank you for inviting me. I have the power to let you see only this and this. That does not change the person I am inside. I'm still the same person. Things are never gonna be the same. Beautiful. Now I have shivers. <laughs> While we were doing that interview, mm. we were getting time calls. Got one more question. A lot of a lot of seconds. things are going on, and I'm yeah, getting so. that in my ear right now to, to wrap it up. I'm Della Rani. Thanks for your company. I'll catch you next time.